something fun. So this down here it will be our Hello, welcome to Walmart Medical Center. What is your name? Okay. Uh, how are you doing today? Oh, okay. I'm so sorry about that. Let's see. Okay, you have filled up your sheet here. Now it says here that you're struggling with headaches, quite large migraines, unable to sleep, unable to walk properly. What do you mean about this? Mm, okay. How long has been this going? Mm, I understand. So, quite some time. Now, first of all, I must apologize. Our air conditioner is not working, so it's a bit hot here. Yes, I might get a little bit. Ugh. Well, it is what it is, isn't it? Let's see. Okay, let's check you out. Okay. Let me gonna shine you with this bright light. I'm sorry. Ready? Okay. Pupils are a bit dilated. Are you tired right now? I tired. Okay. Let's see here. This is your first time in our clinic, right? Okay, I'm sorry. Before we can continue your examination, we have to fill up your patient information. I'm sorry, but this is required by corporate, so I need to fill this up first. Uh, I do notice that your pupils are a little bit weird, but don't worry, this is going to be quite fast. First of all, we have your name. Um, uh, okay, information shit here. Uh, okay. So, do you suffer of any skin allergies, any general allergies, food allergies, skin allergies, any type of allergies? Okay. Yeah, I know it's quite hot. The technician is coming, so please bear with us. We're gonna get a little bit hot and sweaty here, but. Okay. Now, when was the last medical checkup that you had? It doesn't matter if it was here or any other place. Okay, good, thank you. Do you suffer of any chronic illnesses such as diabetes, high blood pressure? Okay. Now, your date of birth. Yeah, complete, please. Very good. Okay, I think I have everything for now. I want to check you out. Let's listen to the heart. Oh, you look a little bit red. Is it because it's hot or... Are you feverish? Let me just check, okay? I'll place this in your ear. Like this. Okay. Well, you have a little bit of fever. Yes. Let's listen to the heart. Oh, 
Okay. Might be a little bit cold, okay? Sounds good. Good. Let's see in the back. Hmm. Uh, can you cough for me? A big one, please. Good. Now, can you talk a little bit? Tell me your name, your full name. Okay, good. Now, you're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay. When did the symptoms start? It? All of them at once, or they start slowly? Mm, okay. I see. Okay, let's take your arm. We're gonna place it here. We'll see how your vitals are, okay? Like that. see at the moment or right now just a bit have you ever fainted before hmm. okay that dizziness let me check your ear okay let me just use oh. this autoscope here inspect your ears okay try not to move might tickle a little bit okay wow wow okay let me use another one yeah there is quite a lot going on here a lot of redness and and I see a lot of redness. Uh, it hurts, right? Yeah, you are twitching a little bit. Mm. Let's see the other ear. Oh, okay, it looks the same. Got a lot of peeled up. Much earwax present in both ears. Uh, I'm gonna have to take that off. But let me check the rest, okay? Let's gonna open our mouth, okay? Some redness too here. Now the migraines. Are where are they located? Where do you feel the pain the most? Okay, is it right here? It starts here, moving to the back, right here, too. Have you been taking any medication over the counter? Uh huh, and it's not working. Okay. Well, you are quite feverish, so that means your body is fighting a virus. So probably could be either COVID or a regular flu. How is your hearing? It just hurt, but you haven't lost your hearing. 
Okay, let's do a little test. We're gonna whisper a few words into your ears and repeat them after me, okay? Good, but could be better. Let's see here. So the medication that you have been taking is not working. The headaches persist. The ears are quite inflamed and red. Mouth is red color too. Head hurts in certain areas. Have you been in an accident lately? Have you had any concussions? Let me check your skull, okay? Trying to determine if there is any bumps. No bumps that I can feel here. Ask you to do something for me. Please stand up. Okay. So just walk, walk a little bit to the back, walk forward, and keep doing it back and forward at your regular pace. Let's do this a few times and see how is your balance since you're feeling a little bit dizzy right now. Okay, you can start. Okay, good, 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 very good. I'm looking straight to your feet. There is what we noticed that something is not right. Okay, now we're gonna stay still. We're gonna raise one feet up. Good, now the other one. Now let's do a little exercise. You're gonna try to touch your left knee with your right elbow, like this, like you're doing a workout. It doesn't matter if it doesn't touch, okay? Just reach to it. Good. Now the other one, please. Good. Okay, please take a seat. Uh, there is a slight loss of coordination. These are simple exercises that you should be able to do. Now, I, I would really like to send you for a CAT scan, but this is a Walmart medical clinic. We don't have that equipment, and it's quite expensive, to be honest. Do you have an insurance? Okay. So right now, I, I want to treat what I can treat, which is um, the virus that you're fighting, and those ears. Those ears are in desperate need of help um they oh, here's the result yeah your blood pressure is going lower okay let me disconnect you from this so that's why you're feeling dizzy i'm gonna give you a prescription right now a pill that is gonna help that blood pressure getting back to normal that's gonna help with the dizziness that you're feeling and also I'm going to give you medication that is going to help with the virus that you're fighting. That's why the pills that you were taking wasn't helping because they were not strong enough to fight this virus. We can do a PCP test to determine if it's COVID or if it's a regular flu. Would you like that? Yes, it's an extra cost. Okay. It's quite fast. A few minutes. And from there, we're gonna have to clean those ears thoroughly. Okay. So you want the test in just one moment.
Well, this does is very fast. It's going to help us determine if it's COVID or is regular flu. If it's a regular flu, we are going to treat the symptoms only since, well, we don't have a cure for for the flu, right? Okay. So first, you're going to stick this up to your nose. Okay, we want you to do this for me. Okay. I feel a little bit weird. I'm sorry. We're doing great. Good. So this. Now this one, your right cheek. Open up. Good. Very good. Now let's set them here. The results are going to be quite fast. Oh yes, quite hot, isn't it? I get a little bit flushed too, but you know, it is what it is, isn't it? Now, let me disinfect. Put a new set of gloves, okay? Now let me walk you through to what we're going to be doing in your ears. It's a very thorough cleanup. I suspect that what you have in there is part of the infection that is going through the whole body. I'm not sure that it's COVID. I'm sure it's going to come up negative. So uh, I think the big clue is going to be in your ears. And I think, okay, yeah. Definitely negative, no COVID. So it could be either a flu or it could be in your ears. And that's what we want to inspect first. Now, here, take this medication, these two pills. This is going to help you for your blood pressure and for the symptoms that you have, which is the headache and the unwell isness that you're feeling. Okay, it's going to help you, make you feel a bit better or a quite a lot better. There's some water here, a bottle of water that you can take. Don't worry, that one is free of charge. So, do you agree to the ear cleanup? Yes, it's extra cost. It's not part of the consult. The medication is also extra cost. But don't worry, it's quite cheap. That's why I, uh, a few cents, so I don't even count it. For the ear cleanup, it's twenty dollars. Yes. Okay. Now during this cleanup, I'm gonna take a sample and I'm gonna look it into the microscope. From there, we are gonna be able to see something maybe. But we don't have many equipment here, as you can see, it's a Walmart clinic. But we're gonna try to do our best to help you. Okay. This medication that I gave you is quite fast as something that works in the body on a rapid speed. So in a few minutes you should be starting feeling better and I'm gonna take your blood pressure again. Okay, I want that to be normalized before we start anything. Let's check your heart again. Good. Okay, it has calmed down. Now breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. Maybe you were a little bit nervous when we started. Yeah, sometimes when we are nervous that affects our blood pressure it can raise it and sometimes in cases of high levels of anxiety can raise it up or lower it like when we are scared it lowers but we need to make that into a normal level okay let's see I'm going to put your arm here again. Very good.
Good. Okay. Very good. It's slowly coming back to normal, so the peel worked. That's good. You seem more relaxed, which is also good. That helps us a lot. How is that sensation, that oh, dizziness, that you are like fainting? A bit better? That's good. So I'm gonna put in your file here that we're gonna do the cleanup and do a slight biopsy with what we have here. If I find something that is out of my range that I can do, um, I'm going to refer you to a clinic that is more affordable, uh, but have more medical equipment that might help you. So hopefully with that is, if this doesn't work, can help you further, okay? Yeah, and in case that it gets worse, you should go to an ER. Mm -hmm. Especially if your blood pressure drops more. That is quite important. Very good. Just want to help you normalize. How is that headache? better okay it means that it's working yeah it's quite strong okay much better that sounds much better it's almost normal right now So sometimes when we are feeling under the weather, let's say a cold, the flu especially, that can affect our blood pressure. In some people it can be that bad because they're taking medication that affects their blood pressure. Let's say people are taking over-the-counter medication for the flu and they don't know that they have high blood pressure. This is going to raise it even more because some medications are not good for high blood pressure patients. Mm -hmm. There might be something that you took uh, for the symptoms that you have that could affect this. Right now you are completely normal with the medication that I gave you, but we have to take that into consideration, okay? So, let's see your ears. Let me know if it hurts when I try to inspect them, okay? A bit better. You didn't twitch. Mm -hmm. Well, there is still redness there, but at least there's no pain, right? That's good. That is going to allow us to clean them up in a more easy way. So if you can join me to this side of the office so we can start. Okay. Now quite very important. Try not to move and not talk during the procedure. Very important, okay? Because we're going to be using tools inside your ears that could damage in case that you move or sneeze or cough. Okay. Let's go this way.
Thank you for coming back here. How do you feel now? It better. Yeah. You took a little nap there. Mm-hmm. Well, while you were taking a little nap, I was inspecting the sample. And yes, there is definitely something there. I cannot tell exactly what it is, but it could be the cause of this set of symptoms that you have that is definitely fighting a virus in your body so I'm gonna refer you to a clinic that is a few blocks from here and you should go right after this and I'm gonna send them the sample online and they should be inspecting it hopefully they're gonna find a way to give you better medication. I cannot give you a whole set of medication because we don't know exactly what virus is, what is taking a toll on you. Uh, I could even give you regular medication, but we don't know exactly what it is. So we need to know exactly the strand, the virus that you have, and from there work on the better solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, during the cleanup, there was a lot of earwax buildup. Uh, there were some parts that were almost petrified, like it was rock solid, so we had to use a serum to dissolve it. It was quite difficult to remove. And thus, during the moment that you start snoozing up, you, you felt quite relaxed, right, with the medication. It happens, it happens, don't worry, it's okay. And 
from there I was noticing that the redness present it was because of the sample that we took we don't know exactly what it is because I cannot really see it with the equipment that I have here but there is something there that is attacking you it started in your ears and then it moved to the rest of your body we have to be very careful because we are really close to the brain so that's why I'm gonna send you immediately to this clinic from there they're gonna assist you and maybe they can send you to the ER depending on what you see what they see but this is a follow-up examination that you have to go through okay right now you feel good but that's because of the medication that I gave you but it's not a cure it's not something that is gonna make you feel all better after a few hours you're gonna start feeling the symptoms again okay very important so please go to the clinic they're gonna help you further with this mm -hmm. very good so I'm gonna send in the information all you have to go is go there okay it's quite affordable don't worry about that now you're coming to a Walmart clinic maybe because uh, your insurance is not the best or for whatever reason they're gonna help you if they cannot help you they're gonna refer you to another place that is for sure that is gonna help you with this problem we have to be very careful that this is not something else that we are not identifying here but please don't be scared everything is gonna be fine and I'm sure they're gonna gonna help you with this okay do you have any questions well don't worry I already sent them the information they should be expecting you and do you have a phone number that I can text you the information and there's a link to the clinic so you just click it and it's gonna give you the directions They have been worried about you and they are expecting your visit. Anything else that I can do for you? Well, it was my pleasure. Good luck and please go to the clinic. Please take care. Bye bye. Next person, please.